Diddy used to take 14-year-old Usher to wild parties. Yeah, you heard that right, 14. Diddy introduced him to the adult lifestyle right away, telling Rolling Stone, you'd open a door and see somebody doing it, or several people in a room having an You never knew what was going to happen. And by the way, I never quite experienced anything like that. Hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how... I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes. As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to let you rock this every time. Right? Yeah, I'm going like, yeah, to be awesome. So, let me tell you, okay. it's a little dusty, but you know. I like when you like this, Daddy. Where you put my bed? Daddy, I like when you all oh, scrambling right and man. scraping. Mm, I, got I like that. that. Where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose. But um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. P. Diddy is a sketchy man with a dark past. For years, people have questioned his inappropriate relationships with artists. When Usher was a young boy, P. Diddy did everything to corrupt him and even admitted to sleeping with him. The cycle of a continued when Justin Bieber came into the picture, and P. Diddy forced Justin to stay with him for 48 hours and do whatever he needed to do to secure a music career. P. Diddy is an absolute monster, so let's get into it. So many people have been asking me to expose Sean Combs, also known as P. Diddy. There have been a bunch of viral clips going around and it makes P. Diddy look really creepy. So let's talk about his relationship with Usher and Justin Bieber. I found one post on Reddit that sums up today's video perfectly. The whole reason why Justin Bieber became famous is because he was taken under Usher's wing. Usher was supposedly exploited by Diddy at the age of 13. They think Usher brought Justin into his circle to get used as well. The biggest red flag is that L.A. Reid helped Usher create a music label that only has Justin as the sole artist. We hear about the cycle of abuse and how someone who's a victim becomes an abuser because that's all they know. And in this case, it seems like this abuse starts with L.A. Reid and P. Diddy. Yeah, it's time. It's time for us to talk about it. Diddy has a rap sheet of abuse and essay allegations that is so long that I'm not even sure I can fit it into one video. I want to make it clear that everything in this video is alleged because usually when I cover stories on YouTube, there's a lot of supporting evidence, but I noticed in this story, there's a lot of evidence that's been removed from the internet and I don't want to get a cease and desist. I don't want to have this video removed. We cannot handle a strike, but let's go ahead and talk about Usher's childhood and how he got involved with P. Diddy. At the age of 12, Usher's mother put him in local singing competitions before catching the attention of a big record label. When Usher was first signed to LaFace Records as a young teen, he was given Sean Combs, also known as Puff Diddy at the time, as a mentor. At 14 years old, Usher moved to New York to collaborate with P. Diddy, but it wasn't all work. How about this? Diddy used to take 14-year-old Usher to wild parties. Yeah, you heard that right, 14. When Usher was first signed to LaFace Records as a young teen, he was given Sean Combs, then known as Pup Daddy, as a mentor. At 14 years old, Usher moved to New York to collaborate with Combs, also known as Diddy, but it wasn't all work. Apparently, Diddy would let Usher attend his extravagant parties to give the singer more of an edge. And reportedly, some other weird things happened. Let's talk about some of these weird things, because these people have truly exposed themselves. At some point, Diddy slipped up and shared that he used to sleep in the bed with Usher, and you could tell by his reaction he did not mean to say that. He tried everything in his power to fix the situation, but it was live, so he couldn't really escape the fact that he said that he woke up in the morning with Usher and they would uh, wrestle over cereal. This video has been wiped from the internet, but I found another video that has this clip and it is pretty awkward. Meanwhile, an old clip resurfaced of Diddy seemingly suggesting in an interview with Kevin Hart that Usher used to sleep in his bed, which further fueled the rumors about Diddy being R. Kelly 2.0. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how... 
I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before Paws was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up earlier than me, and now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what the what did Puff just say? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this with me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes, and we're streaming live. Stupid. So P. Diddy's really showing his true colors here, and there's also a theme throughout this video and throughout all of these allegations involving P. Diddy, and it's the simple fact that he's not fully straight, which isn't a problem, but it seems like he has a problem with people talking about this, and uh, anytime anyone does, they get themselves in trouble. But back to Usher, because as a young kid, he started working with these people, and he was doing really well, but then he started to go through puberty, and his voice changed, so Ellie L.A. Reid decided that he was going to drop Usher from the record label. His voice changed due to puberty, and L.A. Reid considered dropping Usher from his label. However, Usher begged the label to let him stay, so Reid decided to put Usher's album on hold and send him to New York to live with Diddy and attend what Reid calls Puffy's Flavor Camp. Puffy's Flavor Camp just doesn't even sound right, and there's so much wrong with this camp. And it's even bizarre that they have this, because it kind of like clearly shows what the music industry is about, and they even put a name on it to try to humanize it or to make it sound cute, when in fact it's a 14-year-old boy being put into a compromising situation and seeing a lot of things he probably shouldn't have. Most notably, we know that Diddy mentored Usher since as early as Usher was 13 years old. Usher was sent to live with Diddy when he was 13 by L.A. Reid. At the time, Diddy was 21 years old. There's definitely something wrong with P. Diddy if he's over here as a 21-year-old abusing a minor. I mean, he's at the top of his game. He could go and have any woman he wants, but he wants to violate and exploit a young boy. And it doesn't sound like Usher had a good time at this camp. We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some. Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's going to. In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Yeah. One of you guys sent me an email and you wrote So my BF and I were talking about how P. Diddy has done some dark stuff. Take a deep dive down some things Diddy has done. Allegedly, he was younger male rappers and making them do things, then blackmailing them to manipulate them and their work. Now, we don't know if Usher went through this in particular, but we do know that Usher saw some things at this home, at this camp, and it probably screwed with him psychologically. See, hey, Mary okay. J. Blosh, they ain't know nothing about this Oh, <laughs> I was having a good time. Cool. Corrupted you though. This is what it means it could, to be an adult. Yeah. Is that what you think? I mean, it could have really made you. This is what it means you... to be a star. Like this uh, is what your lifestyle looks like. I uh, mean, and by the way, I never quite experienced anything like that. At one point, Howard Stern asked Usher about women in the home, and um, Usher's response kind of like rubbed me the wrong way because it sounds like there weren't a lot of women, and even though there weren't, he still saw interesting things. Usher also said that Diddy introduced him to the adult lifestyle right away, telling Rolling Stone, you'd open a door and see somebody doing it, or several people in a room having an orgy. You never knew what was going to happen. Now, in the same interview, Usher only said there were always a lot of girls at Diddy's house, and he didn't mention anything about Diddy inviting other young men over. However, when Usher appeared on The Howard Stern Show, he painted a totally different picture of Puffy's flavor camp. I moved to New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> some... Flavor Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and like nonstop, right? No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. It was curious, and he got to see some things. Someone actually wrote in a comment, didn't Usher say that he wouldn't send his own children to Diddy's flavor camp? Now, I can't find that direct quote, but I wouldn't be surprised, especially looking at P. Diddy's track record. Like, he's been investigated for doing a lot of things to a lot of different people, a lot of victims out there. And I'm honestly surprised that people aren't talking about this more often. Diddy accidentally revealed that he and Usher used to wake up 
up together. With endless rumors about Diddy's orientation, netizens can't help but think the coming home hitmaker may have a stusher. That claim was backed by allegations that engulfed the music executives some time back. Diddy Combs has been the recipient of some very serious, strong allegations, as a document on the Smoking Gun website revealed the U.S. federal government was investigating him for allegedly having sex with underage boys in the past, and Usher may be one of his victims. Now let's talk about Justin Bieber and how he comes into the picture, because I have a feeling that he's had a rough childhood in the industry. Usher was indeed groomed by Diddy. It also makes you wonder, does the cycle of abuse continue? We know that Usher was Justin's mentor. Now, when it comes to P. Diddy and Usher's relationship, there's more out there. But when it comes to Justin Bieber's, it's been really secretive. And we really don't know what he's gone through. Just a couple blind items. For years, this foreign-born A-list singer has refused to discuss what happened when he was younger under the tutelage of the one named Singer. Apparently, he has started speaking to friends about it. I think the world would love to know. Yeah, they would. So would I. That is Justin Bieber on Usher. I hope Justin Bieber knows that we all believe him. Now let's talk about how Justin got connected with Usher in the first place. Scooter Braun, who's someone I need to make a video about, actually invited the 13-year-old Justin Bieber to the recording studio, where he happened to run into Usher and sang for him. Here's a clip from that first moment where Justin and Usher met. Hold on, soft check. And you get it back when you're stuck in a house you don't want to have fun. So I think about... Oh. <laughs> Your friends will believe you now. Yeah. When I watched that video clip, I feel like that's the moment where Justin like lost his innocence. Like at that point, he was destined to go down this dark road of corruption with these music labels and these executives who are fiending to exploit him. Yo, I have been saying that Diddy is gay for years. And if you rock with me to the end of this video, I think I'll make you a mother believer and before you come for me i'm obviously a member of the community bitch. i love this drink when you, you, like this, when you put my back daddy, i like when you like this daddy when you put my back daddy i like when you oh, when you're scrambling right and scraping no, 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 for no, 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 i, got I like you that you know, okay. so check this out it's me tyrese ray j and f gary gray you know i'm a type of I like variety, man. I like people that's unpredictable. Uh -huh. I, you know what I'm saying? I like different personalities. So I was like, I never knew they would become what they are today. The amount of influence that Diddy has on so many celebrities is just out of this world. And I feel like if even half of them came forward and shared what they had gone through, then Diddy would be canceled. But according to this blind item, it seems like Usher's the monster in Justin's life. This blind item wrote that this whole situation probably would have been kept quiet, but Justin is going around and talking about his own ability. And looking at when this blind item came out, it seems like Justin was going through his really religious phase. I mean, I think he's still in that, but when he was hanging out with Hillsong and all of those people, it seems like that's when he was probably speaking about what he had gone through and then word got out and, you know, went to the gossip sites, but it really just stopped there. Even though Usher said he would not send his children to P. Diddy's flavor camp, he did send Justin Bieber. And this video, 48 hours with P. Diddy on Justin's channel, has gotten a lot of attention because it's creepy. Yeah, so... As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you rock this every time you come right. to LA. Yeah, this will be yours. So, every oh, time you come okay. to LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, I'm going to put the front shot in this. Man. Head that out. Minute. Woo! Okay. Okay. All right, so, so I'm going to be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down there, you got to, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15. Day. You could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit now that... Not yet. No. All right. no 16. No, no, no. Slow 16. down. Let's slow down, Justin. Okay. Let's slow down, okay? One, one step at a time. But, yeah, yeah. The keys is yours when you, you know, when you get 16. Now, there's more to this video, but I think people are already uncomfortable because it kind of seems like there's a little bit of grooming happening here where he's like, you know, taking a young Justin, trying to give him these gifts, like show him, uh, you know, the fast life to ultimately manipulate him. So many people in the comments are calling this out so gullible and naive, the industry ruined him. This is wicked now. Um, Diddy definitely spooned Bieber. Oh God. This is so scary. One day Diddy will finally get exposed. Hmm, well, maybe that's today. You good to go. I'm good. 
good to go. Yeah. Right, and then when you get 18, you get the house. You okay. get the mansion. Okay. I yeah. get the mansion? Yeah. Okay. So where, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. <laughs> we just so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like like like, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a fifteen year old's dream. Um, you know, I I, I have. Been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. I'm going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go on. Are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. Man, after my heart. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's weird. It's just weird. There's no other way to describe it. And when you look at his past and the investigation that the FBI did into his history, I mean, it's hard to um, look at that and not question, like, what were they actually doing for 48 hours? Told the FBI that he knew that Diddy had SEX with minor boys. He also told the FBI that Diddy would have recorded tapes of all of these interactions because he keeps cameras all over his house. The FBI did confirm that it was looking into Diddy, but nothing ever came of it. One day, Justin may want to tell his story about Usher and what happened at Diddy's, but I feel like it's going to be a long time from now because Diddy seems like really powerful and that's why everything in this video is alleged. But as I was like doing research, I realized that like, wait, we could do like a series about this guy because like, okay, first off, someone sent me an email asking me to talk about Kim Porter, the mother of P. Diddy's children who passed away mysteriously. There's also a video of his bodyguard explaining that P. Diddy would also harm women and his own mother so there seems to be some problems here and i do feel like kim porter like said something that pissed him off and uh, i i found this one clip of wendy williams and it seems like maybe like kim was like maybe discussing p diddy's like orientation like sexual orientation um and that's why he like eliminated her i don't know i haven't done my research into that yet but if you guys want to email me some receipts about kim porter we can talk about it but uh we come from a very homosexual era of hip-hop as well uh there was a radio personality once upon a time her name was wendy williams and uh she was practically burned at the stake for um talking about such and now it's all come full circle there is a lot when it comes to this guy i mean i even got an email about a situation back in 1991 where i guess he was at a basketball game and there were nine people who were trampled to death and 30 injured which sounds a lot like Astro World. it seems like there's been like a lot of Astro Worlds in the past we just kind of like forget about them i mean people aren't really even talking about Astro World anymore but it seems like p diddy had his moment so if you guys want to hear about that as well then i can make a video here is my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me let's go ahead and open a peel box package item so it looks like this is from you artists hmm i don't know what this means but let's go ahead and see oh wow okay so it looks like we have some snacks up in here <gasps> okay hey sloan i think by the time you get this you would have gotten over being sick yes i actually feel pretty good right now i just want to send you some medical edibles oh that might come in handy when you are working hard on that podcast been watching you inspire so many people since the early free britney content and i really appreciate all the effort and courage that went into putting out those well-researched videos at the time when facts were being dismissed as crazy conspiracies oh you've been around for a minute i also want to mention as someone who follows uh, both you and k it was really painful to see that video on Anna Campbell because it reminded me of surviving my own DB incident. Um, but it was refreshing to see a bigger channel like yours uh, setting the narrative straight and asking for accountability. Thank you. I actually have a video about the cease and desist they sent me like a year ago, which I could post, but it's just been sitting in the archive. Um, on the subject of what I sent, I've been personally making vegan gluten-free canna oh, cannabis edibles for over a decade now, and I found that people usually either want the psychoactive buzz or not, so I've made sure to include plenty of thc free options as well as microdose and high oh my gosh you gave me the edibles <laughs> wow the medical mushroom bar and the silver is the highest seller on etsy and contains six non-psychoactive mushrooms including something i cannot pronounce which has been proven to show exceptionally strong 
activity against viruses and flu. Wow. Um, last but not least, if you want to chill out, there are these berry and cream hearts made with three kinds of berries that are perfect for that. Um, there are hemp derived federally. Oh, they're, so they're all legal. Okay, great. Um, the brand name is Uplifting Artists which is pretty literal and helping creatives like you get uplifted. Oh, that's cute. But also a portion of these profits go to running a nonprofit art event. So please remember to read the labels for doses and enjoy. Wow. Thank you, Jeff. And I've got all the information on here. And then we've also got this. What? So cute. You get 30% off using my code phone. I love that. So let's go ahead and check this out. We've got these tropical THC free CBG, I think gummies cute they all look really nicely packaged wow um this one is the fruit gummies thc free something cannabinoids i'm gonna have to definitely do my research because i'm like i know what like what weed is you know but um here we've got these chocolate bars wow hybrid <gasps> cannabinoids cookies and cream cannabinoids oh my gosh i love cookies and cream i'm just gonna like want to eat that just for the chocolate oh my gosh here are the berry hearts these are so cute these ones are um h4 cbd okay Ooh, i'm gonna have to like figure this one out and then right here we have oh this chocolate bar <gasps> i love cookies and cream i'm so excited and then here are our last two items we've got this right here which like whoa um, this is a 200 milligram or 20 oh it's like broken into pieces so cbdn and this one is a peach gummies thc cbd wow this is so sweet and i love the packaging and everything's like really cute so definitely go and check them out below i really appreciate it, guys and thank you so much for all the support you have no idea how hard it's been for me and i don't want to get emotional but thank you and i'll see you guys in a new video soon bye guys